Well, it has been a week since the release of a scathing report detailing years of abuse at the Chicago Park District. More than 20 investigations. We're asking, what happens next? Our Tara Molina pressing for answers. And Tara, you learned more about the investigations happening right now. Brad, the 27 active investigations we were first told about last week. Since then, every single day, I've checked in for updates or possible charges stemming from those investigations. Only now, learning the number of criminal investigations there may be smaller than the district is letting on. It's all detailed in the two reports we first brought you last week. More than 50 pages on abuse, harassment, and a district-wide code of silence that allowed it to continue. We know about charges in one case from this summer involving a 16-year-old lifeguard and lifeguard supervisor, 32-year-old Mauricio Ramirez, now facing felony counts of criminal sexual assault and aggravated criminal sexual abuse. But so far, that's it. Has enough been done so far? Absolutely not. I think the public needs to see much more done at the board level and throughout all of the management at the Park District. There are a lot more people who knew what was going on. Alderman Scott Wagespach has publicly called for the board chair to resign, telling me outside City Hall today of the 27 investigations we keep asking the Park District about, he says a majority aren't criminal, like the Ramirez case. When we break it down, there are you know, a good half dozen that could be criminal charges and have been criminal. The rest of them might be other cases that might not rise up to criminal level, but include harassment, bullying. So why hasn't the Park District clarified that? We asked them today. His take? Because of liability. They know that they've made egregious errors. They know that they've covered this up. I brought this to our legal analyst, Irv Miller, who explained all of this is going to take time and with a full investigation happening with the state's attorney's office, while many of the investigations aren't considered criminal now, they could rise to that level. The criminal conduct could occur more than just the alleged victim being violated. It also could be the part of the cover-up, obstructing justice, destroying evidence. Chicago police have not responded to our requests or follow up requests on this since last week, but the state's attorney's office did get back to me today. Their investigation continues into tonight. No big update from them right now. Reporting live in Stanton Park, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.